what is going on everybody remy here from the real deal plays and welcome back to some more soil art online hollow fragment last time we left off we beat the horn of fury i think that was his name i can't really remember but anyways we beat guy with axe and if you've seen the video you probably seen me rage through the four times he yes. killed me yes. it was maybe more than four i'm not 100 percent sure but anyways yes. yeah so uh yeah we beat that boss and uh when i ended the video i was pretty much saying uh we're gonna start Going back to a few of these events too. So yeah. So first of all, we can continue on with the uh, quest to rebuild the uh, marriage status between Asuna and our main character. Go. All right. Take Asuna to the place with a view on the eighth third floor during the day. Okay. Uh, we can speak to Leafa during the day. Okay. Uh, visit. My phone forgot to silence that because I went walking up to the store about an hour and some change ago. Uh, visit Xenon, visit Xenon's room alone during the day to help Xenon train with her sniping skill. So, uh, yeah, we got nice little things to go on. I think the first thing I'm gonna do, though, is the one with Asuna, since, uh, I, I would like to see that through. It looks, it looks like it's gonna be interesting. And here she go over here, being all cute. What's the matter, kitty toe? You want my party? You want me in your party? Sure, I'm in. Okay, thanks. So, being honest, uh, we're not that far away, but we're still not that close to finishing this game. Because we're on the 84th floor, if I'm correct. 84th, yeah, we're on the 84th floor. We gotta go through the other 16, which, like I said, it's like it's 6 more than 90, but then after that's an additional 10 to 100. I just did that as if all you guys don't know how to add. I apologize, I hate it when people do that to me. But anyways, like I was saying, we don't have that much further to go. Place with a view. Let's visit here. Uh, okay, I know I'm not tripping that time. That that eye and isn't was just flickering in and out of the text. You know what? Screw it. Screw it. Ah, isn't it great out here? Surrounded by nature? Say, hey, Kirito, does this place remind you of anywhere? With the lakes and the forest? We can almost be back on the 22nd floor. Okay, that bee just did it too. What's up with text flicker in and out? Got this drink looking like a rundown 7-Eleven neon sign. The lakes and forests? We can almost we can almost be back on the 22nd floor. Back where our house was. In fact, that's why I went and got us a log cabin out here. Huh? Say hello to our new home. For our memories. Kitty Kitty toe. I'm so happy. Thank you. I'm just glad you like it. Can I peek inside? Of course you can. Let's go in and take a grand tour. It, it's beautiful. We even got the same furniture we had in our own house. In our own old house. The rare pieces aren't around. The rare pieces aren't around here, but it still feels like we're back in, in our old home together. It's perfect. I told Ag you what furniture we had in our old, in our old pad, but I didn't expect them to recreate it quite so Pakistani, Pakistani. I dread to think how much this must have caused. The view of the window is so serene. Wow, this is really it. Our new mess. I wonder what the kitchen's like. We'll have to start collecting herbs and spices again. She seems to like it at least. She probably wants to take a look around. I should give her some space. My kids are like, as long as I got a bed and I can sleep in it, I'm good. Phew, mm. all this excitement has warm me out. Time for a quick breather. It's really, it really is a beautiful home. We'll have to make a point of coming back here regularly between missions. Sounds good to me. Now that I think of it, we're the only ones in our, we were the only we were only in our old house for a few weeks. This time we'll make I can't read. I'm sorry. This time we'll really make the most of it. We'll make all sorts of memories. Will we? What kind of memories? Well, Things that newlywed couples do, for instance. Like, what exactly? Oh, she is teasing. She knows what he's gonna say, but she's... <laughs> well, I haven't really thought it through yet. Oh, come on. You can say anything. I promise. I don't think I can. No one heard it. I don't think I can. <laughs> but I really don't have anything in mind. Hmm. Okay, you know, I just read the rest of that in my mind. Oh, I know. You can wear an apron with nothing else on underneath. What? 
Oh, what, was she not hinting at that? You're gonna tell me she wasn't? Uh, n no, it's nothing. Just forget it slipped the tongue. Well, I, um, okay. It's fine. It's fine. Just forget I said anything, okay? Please. Watch your ears out. I said okay. Huh? Uh, okay? What do you... Well, if, if it means so much to you, I, I guess I could wear an apron and nothing else I mean. How come I'm the one who has to say it? Is she, is she being serious? Hey, man. I mean, here's the thing. She was hinting at it. I feel like she's the type of person where she hints at it, but she doesn't really expect you to say it. It's like, wh what do you mean? Like, if you're hinting at sex and you're like, okay, here's the thing. If you hint that you want something, or if you hint that you want somebody to say something, don't get surprised when they say it. You were hinting at it. For example, if I go up to a girl and start hinting towards sex, and she's like, oh, you want sex? I, I can't act like, oh, no, 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 that's not what I wanted. Why would you even think that? Uh, you were sitting there talking about your penis, you were talking about my vagina, I kind of assumed you were just thinking it. Ma, 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 don't look at your eyes just yet, okay? Uh, okay, I won't. It shouldn't take this long to switch equipment. Oh, dear. Hmm. Uh, maybe we should just give me an idea after all. Huh? Huh? It's just you. you. Gotta be. You just. Uh, it's just. You got me kind of looking forward to it now. Uh, really? You want me to see where I. You want me to. Be, wait, I can't read. Uh, you want to see me wearing it that much? Um. Yes, please. Okay. If you say so. I promise you won't laugh, okay? Hey. I ain't mad at it. Hey. I ain't mad at it. Whoa. I, I look silly, don't I? N no, not at all. Who would have thought a simple apron could have made such power depend- Could have had such power depending on how it was worn. Well, it's on now. So, what do I do now? I suppose you just do, you know, normal stuff like cooking, that kind of thing. Cooking? Okay, here goes. It's no good. I, I can't. I mean, yeah, I kind of wonder why. You're... Yeah. Phew. Well, that was mortifying. You, you handled that wonderfully. I was hoping for a longer show, but I'd, I'd... Hold up. But if I said anything, she'd have my head on a platter. Hmm? My ring, it's... Gold. Our rings have changed colors. It's a nice shade of green this time. Okay, so now I think it's time to say I'm slightly colorblind. <laughs> I looked at that and I was like, gold, slightly. Does that mean we've completed another step? Not because of the apron thing, surely. Hmm. It does seem a little low, bo low bro for or quest requirement. There's no way it could have been that. Maybe the nest of memories the monk mentioned meant for our own memories. In which case, this cabin would be the nest. That must be it. The quest must have progressed. The quest must have progressed when we made a new memory here. Of all the things to move the quest forward, he wearing nothing but a silly apron? Let's just forget that ever happened, okay? Hey, got another ring. And we've seen Asuna almost naked, so there's that. This place really is the best. Our house is here, and it has a great view, too. Asuna likes it here, too. I'm so glad I asked Aguil about that log cabin. All right, so we're gonna go back, and this time we're gonna go talk to, uh, we just gonna go talk to Sinon. Mm. I can only imagine what this message is gonna be like. You know what, to be honest though, you wouldn't have thought Austin of all people would go through with it. Had a great time at the log cabin, but I can't believe you made me wear that apron, Kitty Toe. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Boys will be boys. Winky face. Okay. But thanks. But thank you. The log cabin is really special. And so are you. I didn't make you with nothing. I told you forget it. You was like, go through with it. You was like, I'm gonna go through with it. I never understood that. People would be like, I can't believe you made me do that. And it's like, I told you to, I told, I just said, you know, forget what I said. But here you go, doing it. And now you're gonna try to shift the blame on me. Eh. Can't really do that. Alright. 
No. Uh. All right, there goes Silicon Pina. Screw that dragon. What's done? Uh, dissolve party. Okay then. Catch you later, Kitty Toe. That kind of sort of feels fucked up. It's like, yeah, you see me naked. You see me naked in almost nothing but an apron. Like, you know, you see me almost naked with nothing but an apron on, and it's like, oh, you want to dissolve this party now? Okay, cool. See you later. <clears throat> see on, are you there? I guess not. I wonder where she went. What? Okay, so I'm gonna say this now. Back when I was playing Hollow Realization, Asuna would always say Sinon's name like that, and I always assumed to be it. I always assumed it to be a typo. I'm like, but then I realized it's only her that says Sinon's name like that. You know, like in her text, that's the only time it looks like that. Everyone else says her name right. It's only her, and it did it in this game too. So I feel as if. You know, this is purpose, because that's just the way Asuna would say her name. What? See, now it's not here. Doesn't look like it. It's a shame. I was planning on doing some training with her. Hmm. hmm. What? Huh? What's the matter? Hmm. Recently, seen I look pretty down in the dumps. I think she's worried about something. I hope I'm wrong, but I think she's anxious about heading into the labyrinth. She went with you last time, didn't she, Asuna? I thought she'd be a real part of the assault team once she learned the sniping skill. Her range at the wings weapons are useless when enemies get close. Enemies get close. <clears throat> I mean, we try to support her at times like that, of course. That's just... That's just the way it is, Asuna. All weapons have strengths and weaknesses. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why we keep telling her not to worry about it. She doesn't seem to listen, though. She... I think she feels as if it's her problem. I came to talk to her that it, I came to tell her that it really wasn't like that. <sighs> I wonder where she went. Well, if I find her, I'll tell her. I'll tell her you're looking for her. Thanks, Kirito. It'd be really helpful. Is she not really worried about that? I mean, it's just a basic fact in every RPG. As long as she takes, t as long as she takes enemies out from far away, she's got nothing to worry about. It's odd that she isn't here, though. I better go look for her. I'm sure she hasn't left town by herself, which means... Huh, there she is. Kirito? Kirito? You were training by yourself? You should have told me. I would have come to help you. Well, you were still asleep when I started. Then you must have... Then you must have started pretty early. How long have you been training? Never mind that. Now that you're here... How about you help me? I'm learning how to dodge. I'm happy to help, but you should take a break. There's no good overdoing it. I'm fine. I'm not planning to go out for days without. I'm not planning to go days without sleep or anything. Let's train. It's just you really look like you could do with a break. Look, if you don't want to help me, can you leave me alone? I need to concentrate. Okay, okay. I'll help you. I'd only worry. I'd only worry if you. What? I'd only worry if I left you. Over. If I left you alone, anyways. <laughs> oh. Your reaction is pretty slow. I think you should take a break now. But it's better to train in short. It's better to train in short, intense bursts, anyways. It's better to train in short, intense bursts, anyways. Most players believe that. Look, if you feel like you're a burden on the party, I can tell you that you're really not. Everyone's got their own part to play. Having a sniper like you is really helpful. It's all about give and take. You need our help and we need yours. I played solo for so long, so a lot of this is new to me too. Believe me. I don't agree with you. I want to become stronger. If I can fight without help, I can really fight. All. If I can't fight without help, I can't really fight at all. I believe it was my destiny to come here. That's why skill. That's why that skill appeared for me. I have to shoot any enemy that, thre that threatens me. That's the only way I can survive. So that's a little wink, wink, nudge, nudge to her origin. To you know her origin. You know anyone who's seen Sao Two, you already know that's a little wink, wink, nudge to her origin. If you've seen it, 
which honestly they do and which honestly they go over in a uh, hollow realization and honestly i feel like they did it beautifully in that I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get myself back. I have to kill thousands of monsters and a heap of and a heap of pile and heap up a pile of bodies. Oh shit! Hello? Makes you sound like a makes you sound like a serial killer. I have to go strong. Otherwise, there's just no point. Hey, where are you going? Seen, seen on. Blast it! She's gone. Us players would want to be strong. I don't know what the hell this is. It's like my voice keeps stuttering and shit. Us players would want to be strong. But when Sina says it, it feels different. There must be some reason for it being so desperate and earnest about it. She said there was a memory she wanted to forget. And that she went to counseling. Maybe she wants to go strong so she can overcome something specific. Hold on. That couldn't mean she's gone to a different floor, could it? I better start looking for her right away. Didn't they make it clear in the anime that you could track players through their friend through your friends list? Could Xenon be here? Where'd she go? I've already searched up to the 80th floor. Excuse me, I'm looking for a one a young woman. She's about this tall, carrying a weapon. Uh it's not a sword or a spear, but a bow. Oh, I saw her a little while ago. You did? Did you see where she went? It looked like she was heading towards the labyrinth. Is she going hunting with that weapon? If so, that's amazing. Where did she get that thing? Sorry, I don't have the time to chat right now. If she's going to the floor of the labyrinth all by herself, then she'll be in real trouble. Sinon. Where are you, Sinon? What's that? That was Sinon's voice. Let me ask you today, all the trainer and tired herself out. Can you tell? She's around it, and it doesn't look like she has much HP left either. Hang on, Sinon. I'm coming. We're fighting. Oh, shit, what the hell are these? You know what? Fuck this. AoE attacks are the best. Phew. Sinon. Are you okay? Can you tell? Sorry to cause you so much trouble. You nearly gave me a heart attack. Why would you do something so stupid? Oh, damn, Kitty. So, look, bruh. It's a stupid move. You didn't have to do all that. You know when your HP re you know what happens when your HP reaches zero, don't you? Of course I know. But I thought if, I, but I thought if it really came to that, it wouldn't matter. I mean, it'd be better than living in fear, feeling weak and frightened all the time. See, no. But then when my HP went to that red, I thought I was done for. I got so scared. I thought I'd die never having, any, never having done anything. It made me feel so sad. Well, it looks like we found our thumbnail. <laughs> I think I just said the fact that we found our thumbnail and like every sword out online video that I've been recording. Listen, hang on. Can you tell? You know, it's usually cool. It's really weird to see her losing it like this. <laughs> Look, you're still alive. That's the most important thing. Kitty Toe. Bro, I can't see Sinon cry because you don't see her cry often. <laughs> usually she's, usually she's calm, collective. She keeps her emotions to herself. But when, it's, when you see it let out, that's a whole different story. I, I'm, ser I'm sorry for the tears. I don't know what came over me. You don't need to apologize. Listen, I'm not gonna ask you. I'm not gonna ask you what happened in your past. It's impolite to dig up someone's. It's impolite to dig into someone's, into people's real lives. And I respect your privacy. Look, I'm not sure if I'm not sure if I made it any clear. I can't read. You know what? I'm about to retake English one for first grade again. Look, I'm not sure if I got anything clever to say at this point. I just want to let you know that I'm always here for you if you need me. That goes for Asuna too, and for everyone else. We're all friends, you see. So please, don't try and do things like this all on your own, okay? Thank you. It means a lot. It means a lot to me to hear you say that. But this is my problem, and I have to solve it. I'm grateful that you helped me back there, though. Well, I promised. Well, I promised to look after you. I promised to look after you, didn't I? I, I guess you did say an embarrassing 
lying like that, huh? I never thought that anyone who said stuff like that would actually mean it. I don't make promises I don't intend to keep. I'm actually thinking now there's actually a promise he didn't keep. I guess not. I gotta tell you though, I like to feel like real jelly. I don't think I can move for a while. Can we just stay here for a few minutes? Sure. Receive the message. Okay. This is from Shinon, I'm pretty sure. Thanks. Thanks for saving me. And not just my life, but also my mind. I owe you a lot. And I won't forget it. When is she when is she able to use her Yeah, she has the bow now. Okay. So if I go on to if I go on a battle with her, she has the bow instead of the dagger. That's great. Uh okay. Uh, anything else I wanna do? Uh, just I'm just cleaning up events. Yugi, Yui, and Aggro Shop, and Aggio Shop, uh, Sweet Alifa, and then Liz. Um, I think we'll do a little bit of exploring in the labyrinth. Or oh, looking for the labyrinth, actually. Uh, so, yeah. I want to find Xenon, because I want to see her bow skill in action. Where the hell is she at? Matter of fact, I keep again. I can just do this. Uh, where is it? I gotta flip it. Uh, I gotta track you. That's not flipping it. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Wait, it's telling me right there. This isn't hollow realization. Okay, you don't have to. All right. Trader's way. So you're somewhere around here then. Okay, where is that? This isn't Trader's Way. I just thought about that. You know what? Let's pretend I didn't just sit here thinking this is the place I needed to be. Instead, let me go up here, come out, and then, yeah. Here's Leafa, actually. Ah, fuck it. We're already here. Ah, Kazuto, I found you. Found me? What's going on, suit? Come on, come over here. H hey, stop tugging at me. What the? Why have you dragged me here? Just listen to, just listen to what this person has to say, okay? Come, either. Come, either. Travelers, I have a favor to ask you. An NPC, huh? Can you hear him? He said he needs to ask us a favor. I guess that means a quest. Okay, what do you want us to do? I would like you to visit the forest on the 83rd floor. Somewhere deep within that dense forest is a pendant left there long, long ago. It's called the Sun Pendant, and I would like you to bring it to me. A fetch quest, huh? That's about as straightforward as it gets. It sounds like fun, right? Come on, Kazuto. Let's do it. Okay. We too. Leafa and the Black Swordsman? Gladly, gladly accept your quest. You could just call me Kirito, like you didn't call my real name and a nickname. Ah, thank you. I am ever grateful. Now please do be careful. That force is home to ferocious monsters. No ordinary warrior, no ordinary warrior can stand a chance against them. Many have tried and failed. Don't worry, Kirito's no ordinary warrior. Just call me everything, huh? Why don't you throw my last name out there? I'll say things like that. It's embarrassing, even if it's true. Of course it's true. We won't, we won't fail. That's for sure. Now let's go. Okay, so let's go to the 83rd floor. What is it, Kitty? So, foreign party. You want to team up a foreign party? Let's get going. So let me make this very clear. I will take you. I will take Sinon to a floor, and we can go kill monsters. Right, I'll be damned if I take her into any boss battle. That's that's dead. I'll take Stero to a boss fight with me before I take anyone else. That bow don't even touch your back. God damn. Could this be a hot spring? It really is bubbling right up. It really is bubbling right up. I want to stop and take it easy, but I guess this isn't the time for anything like that. Oh, that was Kitty still talking. Shit. Yeah. There's always a chance that a certain someone would be peeking at things they shouldn't. Hey, I never suggested we get in it or anything. Hmm. And I never suggested I was talking about you. 
Unless you know something I don't. Who the fuck else would you be talking about? Like, uh, when it comes to mouthing off, I just can't win against Xenon. Like, yeah, it's like, who the hell else would you be talking about? Like, I never understood that. I want to see a bow skill in action. Are you not going to use the bow? So you're not going to use the bow. Fuck it. Stun him for what? You're not going to use the bow. <laughs> Shit me. Really? I'm in the middle of what's in my ass and you just won't give me a cutscene. And she's taking damage. Ants nest? There are two of them. Seems like both are in the dungeons. Oh, you're actually using it. Damn, damn, damn. Turn him into a pin cushion. Acid. Acid assault. Oh, that's her. Okay. Alright. Oh. I don't know if you guys don't know this, but I'm not fine with ants. Uh, I don't know what that was. My, my character just stopped and then kept going. That was a little weird. Alright. But yeah, I'm not fond of ants. Because just like... Cause I'm pretty sure they work the same way in in game as they do out of game. If you see one, there's probably a thousand around the corner. You feel me? Like in the springtime. If you see one ant, assume there's a hundred of them somewhere nearby. Alright. Don't know where we're going. Alright. Actually I do like the fact that she got the bow with but she's running around like it with a dagger. Looks like a thief character. So good. What's this? Hey, she not leveled up. That's great. Alright. Uh, so this is my way. What the hell? That was a big ass. I thought it was a big ass black ant. All right, got some ore. Maybe I'm gonna craft another sword sometime in the future. That'd be great. Mm -hmm. Hey, buddy. I can't see nothing. I'm gonna be sitting here looking at Xenon's feet. I ain't, I ain't got no foot fetish now. <clears throat> They're dead. They're dead. And it is big motherfucker just turned around. And you're dead. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. Is there a chest in here? Yes, there is. Thank you. Oh, I say I can't open the door. That's a big motherfuck. That's two big motherfuck. What are y'all? Princess stuff. Oh, so the queen is in here. I don't know much about ants, but I'm pretty sure you guys are like really close to the bumblebee. <laughs> and the way y'all do kids. Also, I miss. So yeah, like I was saying, I'm pretty sure, I don't know a lot about ants, nor bees, but the one thing I'm pretty sure about is that you guys do the same thing, you know, you just have the queen and she just shoots out a bunch of, uh, damn, 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 but yeah, like, she just, like, like, the queen just shits out a bunch of fucking kids or something like that. Where is your queen? Or your princess. I mean, it doesn't matter. I'll fly, I'll fly the either or. Like, it don't matter. The further I go, the more and more ants there are. If 
probably getting close to the deepest part. I don't know when a battle event might might suddenly be triggered. You should be careful. Just show me where the queen is. We slaughter her. There it is. What's that? I will kill this bitch. It's a flying ant on top of that. <sighs> It's there for from the ones up until now. We can't go any further until we defeat that enemy. No choice. Let's do it. Bitch! Fuck your queen! I'm not in the mood for it. No, I'm good with what I got. Uh. Oh, I thought this was something else. Oh, Kirito. I didn't expect to see you here. What a wonderful surprise. What are you doing here? I was just looking for something. Well, I'm pretty tired now. I'm going to take a little break. You're looking for something? But well, whatever it is, it's not sensible to be wandering around the labyrinth on your own. Well, join me then. Let's explore the labyrinth. I promise I won't be in a pain. I promise I won't be a pain. Hang on. I thought you just said you were tired and needed a rest. Shouldn't you head back to town? Oh, don't worry about me. I'm ready for this. Come on, let's get going. Hmm. Okay, but there are some ground rules. If you're the, if you're, if I determine that you're in danger, you follow my orders to the letter. Is that clear? Gotcha. I'll do, I'll do whatever you tell me. Okay, well then, let's get going. Do I just switch partners now? Do I just switch partners? Damn, just, just threw Cena onto the side like, bitch, fuck you. <laughs> Defeat six ant commanders. Fuck this. Okay, cool. They're dead. Wait, hang on. How the hell does that red slime of all things live? You know what? Okay. Come through here, come through here. Boom, boom. Y'all some big motherfuckers. What's poppin'? Alright, boom. Okay, sir, you are fucking commanding. Alright, hello. Yeah, kill it. Stockholm Stereo for fucking pest control. Unless he's through the door for whatever reason. Yeah, you gonna be sent back. Oh, there he is. There he is, and he brung his kids to work today. Oh, look at that. <sighs> See, can I'm like just gonna assume. So, yeah. Oh. Mm. No zitch. If we hop on his next one, he's like the boss is here. Huh. Phew. <sighs> Should I hit my mic? It's like every recording I hit my mic somewhere. Hey, so I wasn't in pain. Hey, so I wasn't in pain, was I? I didn't hold you back? No, I guess you didn't. But I just can't work out what you're so intent on finding here. I'm looking for something that can destroy this entire world. Or I think I am anyways. Something that can destroy this entire world. That's right. That's why I have to hurry. But it doesn't seem you know exactly what this thing is you're looking for. I don't. But that just means I have to look harder. There's no way I'll find it otherwise. I have to protect this world. But this isn't, but this isn't just about me. You don't know you can't clear the game, aren't you, Kirito? That means you have to really think about the caliber of the other of other members in your party. <clears throat> What was that? Oh, she's still with me. Okay. Kirito, okay, so you're going to need a very you're going to need the very best girly fighters at your side. If you're implying that there's some there there's something lacking in my party, you're way out of line. Hmm? Why would I have chosen them otherwise? 
And who are you calling girlies? Kirito, you're wrong. Your party isn't good enough. You must know that. I mean, everyone like, I mean, even someone like me could fit right into your, into your party. You need more balance. You need more work. You need to work more on individual members' abilities. Now, specifically, Sina needs to toughen up and start fighting with a bigger axe. Let me get this straight. You want this itty bitty petite girl to wield a big axe. <laughs> Next, you're gonna tell me, oh yeah, and also Agio, he should probably wield like the smallest dagger he could find. It's like, what? Which, what are you saying? Listen, I'm all about range attacks. I'm not a close quarter combat. I mean, you're not wrong about being able to handle a heavy weapon. You're not wrong about being able to handle heavy weaponry. But why are you ditching the type of weapon I should I should be using? Let me paint you a picture. And it becomes a kitty so fast. You need to be able to take that boogie down with a single strike. Look, I'm not saying that could never happen, but it isn't. But it hasn't happened yet, and I doubt it ever will. Okay, I see both sides of the argument. Sarah's like, okay, we need to prepare for something. It's like, it's like an Iron Man thing. You feel me? It's like. It's like the Iron Man Captain America thing. It's like Captain America's like, you know, Iron Man's like, we need to create this defense system in case this attack ever happens. And Captain America's like, well, the chances of that happening are small, so there's no need to fix a problem that isn't here yet. Like, I get it. Like, I get it. You know, one wants to create a bridge before anybody even gets to that point, and the other one wants to create the bridge when we have to. When we have to. I, I, I get both sides. Mm. Hmm, I see. The way I see it, Kato needs security in battle. He also needs a partner who looks cool. Stara, no offense, you look more like eye candy, and Sina looks like a fucking badass. I'm... I'm sorry. You need someone who really makes sense. You need someone who really makes sense together with Kirito. With Kirito, the perfect fit. Not to mention someone who's got some serious curves. You know, like me. Damn. Like, if you can't beat them one way, beat them another. Also, you need someone with some serious tit, with some serious tits, some serious cleavage. And, uh, I don't know if you noticed, but... Comparing both of us, like, you looking a little, you look like you owing up right now. In battle, it's important that there's an element of attraction. It's also important to be mothering. It's also, it's also important to be a mothering, protective figure. That means curves. I'm not, I'm trying to understand where this is going because she's saying like you need, you need curves. What's seen off reply to this? <laughs> what? What's that going to do with fighting monsters? You think looking cool is going to scare them? Yeah, like where, where, where does your tits come in at fighting monsters? Like, are your tits just so big that like if you swing your chest up, you're just going to up the monster? Like what? Like I'm not understanding. Oh, uh, she's got a point. I'm not really sure this is even related to anything on the well, battlefield. Sure, but whatever way you look at it, the ideal partner for Kirito is me. I think we're all in agreed. Come on, Kirito, let's go. Wow, you really do things on your own, don't you? I gotta hand it to Stara. She really knows what she's doing on the battlefield. I know she's busy searching for something, but until she finds it, I don't see why I shouldn't just go let her join the assault team. This big shade you need to... The girl said you needed big tits in order to fight. <laughs> I'm not understanding. Oh shit, the queen's up here. I'm not commander, but y'all know what I'm at. I'm gonna my AoE attack. Whoa, shit. Oh, that's vicious. So I just remember, like, back in Hollow Realization, you could, uh... I remember back in, like, Hollow Realization, if you was, uh, mid-animation, like, for, uh... Like for a special skill, you could, uh, if you switch in time, you can just, like, okay, it's super dark and I can't see nothing. And these ants are black. I think, I think I just screwed myself slightly. <laughs> but yeah, like I was saying, um, back when, uh, playing, like, Hollow Realization, I remembered, like, if you're in the middle of a sword skill, you could switch, you could do a switch, and it would instantly stop the sword skill, and you could just call your partner in to do it. And I'm just wondering, like, I wonder if I could do that, you know. So yeah, that was nice to know. 
Sorry, Kirito. We'll have to leave it at here for today. I just remember I have something to do. So, are you done searching for whatever it is? Yep, for now. I feel like I'm making progress, and tomorrow's another day. Well, if you say so. You sure? You sure you're... Hold up. You sure you're happy with us going our separate ways for now? Yep, I'm sure. Thanks for everything. And see you soon. You're fine with just letting her go? Well, I don't think I could stop her even if I wanted to. Besides, she still doesn't know what she's looking for. In the end, this is her problem to deal with. There's a limit on what we can do for her. Yep, you're right. So I guess we should head back. Oh, snap. The floor feels different from the others. It could be that the boss room is close. Yeah, I guess we'll just have to press on to find out. So let me guess. We fought the we fought the worker ants. Follow me on this. We fought the worker ants, the soldiers, the princess guards, the princess, the queen's guards, and now we're gonna fight the queen. I just feel it. Like this one's this whole thing is insect themed. Yeah. I mean, that's just how I feel. I feel like if you go this far, and it's just like, yeah, well, here's everything you gotta go against, you know? Yeah, like I said in the last, like I said earlier, in the last floor, we went against a whole bunch of boar monsters, and then here's a minotaur, it's like, it made sense. I was like, this is the boss room for this floor. This is it, can you tell? Yeah, just gotta, heart, just gotta head back to Ark Sophia and get in contact with the assault team. Return, because I'm not walking my ass back through that, fuck that. Fuck out that. Alright, new message. I promise you it's from one I promise you it's from Stara. Oh, I was wrong. Okay. I don't know who the rest of you are. Uh alright. So what do we know about this boss? Besides that it's the queen besides the fact that it's the queen ant. Boss, the ant queen. Fucking called it. <laughs> Uses powerful acid to oh shit. That means damage over time, doesn't it? Complete. It's swarming with ants. Uh, charge attacks can be dodged with quick step. Uh, breath attack can be sealed by destroying its mouth. So if it charges, get the fuck out the way. When it, while it's breathing acid, destroy its fucking mouth. Got it. Say less. Alright. Actually, I think I'm going to end it right here because this has been going on for a while. I'm going to end the video right here. Uh, when we do come back, we're going to be doing the uh, mission we need to do uh, in order to get the last bit of intel we need on the ant, on the ant queen, and then we're going to go fight said queen. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy the video, how about you go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And with that being said, I will see you all in the next one. Peace. The Horn of Fury. So, I can stop your... I can stop your left by destroying your leg. That would seem like the best bet, because I want to use deep impact. I, I, I forgot my commands. Awesome is dead. Ah, uh, I forgot.